Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how pros play KO. Now, KO is super interesting to me because I think he's super underutilized when it comes to regular comp play as opposed to pro play. So that's why we're going to analyze the pros and really see how they use KO. So you guys can start to really get the most out of KO when you're using him in your ranked teams. I think KO really has it all when it comes to his kit. I mean, think about it. He has info in his dart and suppression, a nice flash and a molly. What else could you really ask for in a kit? Combine that all with how strong his ult is, which basically takes any opponent's abilities away, KO should really be used more. Now, one thing that I found very interesting was that at VCT Champions in Berlin, KO had the fifth lowest pick rate of any agent, behind only Brimstone, Omen, Yoru, and Phoenix. But what's even more interesting is the fact that Team Ascend, the team that ended up going on to win VCT Champions in Berlin, was the team that played KO the most out of every single team at VCT. Now, what does that tell me? That tells me that Team Ascend was ahead of the meta in playing KO, and they knew something that we didn't. Throughout this video, we're going to talk about when pros actually use KO and on what maps, what agents KO replaces, what agents KO works well with as a team comp, and how pros actually use KO and use his abilities. First things first, let's talk about when pros actually picked KO. So if we look at his map pick rates, the number one map where KO was picked was actually Breeze at 41.67%. The number two map was Ascent at 35%. And the number three map was Bind at 19%. One very interesting stat about KO's pick rate is that there isn't a single map where he had a 0% pick rate, which can't be said about any other agent in the entire game except for Jet. And again, all of these stats are strictly from the tournament VCT champions in Berlin. That stat is super interesting to me because it tells me that teams are still figuring out how to incorporate KO into their play style. I think as we prepare for VCT in 2022, there's gonna be such a higher pick rate for KO across all maps. With that being said though, what agent or role does KO actually replace? Because there's a huge misconception amongst the casual community that KO is a replacement for Sova because he's an initiator, but that couldn't be further from the truth. At the end of the day, there is no replacement for Sova on the maps where he's typically played, which is every map except for Fracture and Split. Think about it like this. Sova has a drone that can clear off so many angles, tag opponents that literally give you wall hacks, and also send a recon dart that does the same exact thing if it gets a scan off. It literally gives you wall hacks. But when you look at the other three initiators in the game, Sky, Breach, and Ko, they all have a very similar role in the fact that they flash for their team and use other utility to help them get onto site. But none of them replace the wall hacks that Sova gives you, which is why you can't replace Sova with Ko. That's part of the reason why the double initiator meta has become so popular as of late. Instead of running a second duelist, teams will run two initiators and only one duelist typically Jet on most maps, in their team compositions. You guys have heard me talk about it on my channel before, but I personally think KO fits into that flex role where you typically fill for a second duelist or a second initiator. Oftentimes that's played as Reyna or Sky, but as Valorant continues to develop, I think KO is going to fill that flex role more and more. For example, let's look at the VCT champions themselves, Team Ascend, and the comp that they used on Ascent. They had CNED playing Jet, Zeke playing KO in that flex role, Bone Cold playing Sova, Starzo at Astra, and then Keyless on the Sentinel Killjoy. Now, there are plenty of maps where you play double controller or even double Sentinel like Split, and I don't think KO will be used very often on those maps. But on the maps where you typically only rock one controller and one Sentinel, and then have that flex position open, that's where KO is going to thrive. Breeze, Ascent, even Haven. Quick break in the video to inform you guys that I recently partnered with Swipe Mouse Pads. I'm super proud to partner with a brand that I truly do stand behind. I've been using their Hero Mouse Pad for about a week now, and I really do feel like it's the best of both worlds when it comes to speed and control in a mouse pad. If you guys want to try out a dope new mouse pad and also support your favorite content creator, you guys can use code ZK for 10% off at checkout on swipemousepads.com. Again, they have two models, the SP and the Hero, but the Hero is the one that I've been rocking with lately, and I absolutely love it. Thank you guys for the support. Now let's get back to the video. Now let's finally talk about how pros use KO's abilities in a match. Let's start things off on defense and talk about how KO blocks the information characters on the attacking team from getting the most info that they can. Team Ascend applied this really, really well in VCT. On a map like Breeze, where a team would typically rock both Sova and Sky, you would oftentimes find Zeke on Ascend using his knife to cancel the Sova drone or Sky Dog while they were in that form. Denying information from something as strong as a Sova drone is a super, super impactful way to use your utility. 
Additionally, you would see Zeke using his Molotov to block the entrances to site when teams were gearing up for an attack. This is a great way to slow the attack down and allow his team to rotate before they can actually get out onto site. Now, the problem with KO, at least to the casual eye, is that his flash is a lot harder to use successfully compared to an agent like Sky. I mean, think about it like this. You either have a right click pop flash that you can almost exclusively use for yourself, or a left click flash that you can use to set up your teammates. This basically means that you have to coordinate your flash a lot more than you do with agents like Sky because you have full control of her bird. I think that's reason number one why KO isn't really used too much in ranked play because his flashes really do require a lot of coordination and communication between you and your teammate. At the end of the day, if you're gonna play KO in ranked, it might take you learning a little bit of a flash lineup to set up your teammate. Just calm that beforehand so they can peek off of you and you get your simple assist. When it comes to attack, oftentimes Zeke would use his knife to suppress the players who are actually playing on the site that they're going to execute. Now this seems pretty obvious, but this is super important when you're going to execute a site because this could mean taking an Astra suck away from an Astra who's playing on site, taking away chips from a Cypher or mollies from a Killjoy, etc, etc. Throughout VCT, Ascend was often playing a slow default, gathering information throughout the round. That way they could take a calculated hit when they actually went to attack on the site that they were going toward. Based off of utility usage from their Sova and KO, they knew if there were two players on a certain site and three players on another and vice versa. Another super common thing you would see from Team Ascend, they would do a complete 180 from their slow defaulty play style on rounds where Zeke had his ultimate with KO. Oftentimes they would go to the site where the opposing team Sentinel is playing, have Zeke pop his ult, which again takes away all of the Sentinel's abilities, and just flat out fast execute a site. It was super exciting to watch. On attack, KO mollies can be used in a very different way. Obviously, when you're defending, I say you throw them at the entryways to the site to slow down the attack. But when you're attacking, you can use them to clear an abundance of angles. For example, when you're going out toward B on ascent, you can throw a molly logs to clear logs, throw out stairs to clear stairs while you push in, etc, etc. As far as using his flash on attack, it's the same concept. You have to flash for your team when you're using KO, unless you're doing this simple right click pop flash. Oftentimes on ascent and breeze, you would see Zeke throwing flashes super high in the air to distort the enemy team and have his team look away while that flash is popping. The number one thing to take out of KO's flash is that it requires coordination with your team. Communicate your flashes, please. All right, guys, I think we've covered it all. We've covered everything about when pros play KO, what agents he fills and what agents he replaces, how to actually use him with your team, and then, of course, how to use his abilities and how pros use his abilities in their actual tournament matches. If you guys found this video helpful, please do me a favor, leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. It really does go a long way and it helps us boost us in the YouTube algorithm so you know that's very, very appreciated. If you guys didn't know, I also stream every single day on Twitch at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Please go check me out and drop me a follow at 1ZK. The link is in the description down below. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Check out one of these banger videos on your screen and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.